How's it going guys? I'm back with the old mower slash go-kart build. Okay, first order of business this morning is I've got a problem right here. There's nothing in that. So, you know, if this put the spindle in there. Wait, let's see. Let's make sure we put the spindle on right. It actually goes like this. That's that's not good, that's no bueno. I'm gonna have to fix that. So what I've got. So we put some tires on this. Now now keep in mind this is going to be converted over as well as the Mocart that I built to rack and pinion steering. But this setup will work for running a track and having fun until the funds come in for said rack and pinion steering systems, which you know is shortly down the road. You know, by the end of summer, they'll both. I'd like to have them both in there, but um, for now, I've got this. This little metal pushing collar, whatever the hell you want to call the damn thing, which fits nicely in here. And it also get this right again. It also slides onto there. And I wish I had two. I may have find another one. It also slides onto there. I have a plastic one for the bottom. For now, I think I might be able to find another metal one to go in for the bottom. If not, this will work for the time being. It'll be fine. But this, I'm going to tack weld into its hole right there. I'm going to tack weld it into this hole so that it isn't popping up, moving around, doing anything stupid while I'm flying around said track sideways. So, uh, thanks for coming back on part three of this build. I realized the first part twos may be a little bit boring. You know, I'm tearing down a mower, whoopee. But it's all a part of the build, and I wanted to document a build for you guys from start to finish. That means tear down to paint you know after it's finally done and been tested and ready for a paint job so you know it's all a part of it so i'm bringing it along with me hang on here we go That'll work.
Okay guys, so I'm trying to figure out this uh, tie rod for the steering. Because I gotta connect. You can see this one's connected here. Up through to the gear. Goes up to the steering wheel. So this controls this. And pivots this arm down here. So I need to connect this all the way over to this one. So that this spindle turns with this one. So here's a certain amount of parts that I've got left from the teardown and uh, actually a couple from the other Mopar, Mokart build I did. This is the tie rod that's, that's the best matches the length that I need. Okay, the problem is we got nothing on each end, right? So obviously I've got one laying here that I can use. So put this on there. Okay, and then I've got this one. I need to get off here and put it on that one. So that's the plan. Okay, after digging around and looking around and trying different parts, I ain't got two ends that fit right. So what I'm gonna do, this end right here fits perfect on this end. Whoops. And this end, obviously, I cut that baby off of another rod. That was too short to use, and I'm gonna weld it right to there. How to do that to the mo cart, and it works fine, so. That's the plan, so let's get busy. Now I have not pretty, but it's gonna hold. That's what we want, right? That's darn close. Enough now. Just like that, we got steering. There we go. Okay, now one issue I'm having with this build, 
I'd like a little input if you guys are still watching. Appreciate it. Out of three transaxles, I can't find a decent one in the bunch. So, any input on how I want to transfer a vertical power to a live axle or a vertical shaft to a live axle other than using a transaxle lever mower? Be good to put down in the comment section down there. Appreciate the input. Um, I'm still thinking on it. Meanwhile, we got some more sand and stuff like that to do because I haven't even started on that shit. She's still coming along. Like I said, it's all part of it. So uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. And uh, we got the steering fixed. We'll be on to getting this differential problems figured out or maybe even have to run a, a live axle. I, I kind of don't want to do that with this. A differential in front engine, you know, be nice, a little different, something different, I don't know. Anyways, please, please, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave your input down in the comments sections, I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys real soon.